Hi, it's been a while since I've done anything with this observatory at Concept. And what I'm doing today is I'm trying to figure out the placement of the second pier. I have to get the second pier in place before I can do my build, because it makes no sense to do the build um, without that second pier being in. And so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to figure out, like I said, spacing. So I've gathered the two largest scopes that I own, this 10 inch um, Newtonian here from TPO, Third Planet Optics. Then I've got this Skywatcher EQ, I mean, sorry. Yeah, there is an EQ6R Pro here, but I've got the Skywatcher Quattro 150 Pro along with a Ruse Astro um, Dew Shield that I've uh, fitted to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these scopes around and just understand whether or not there's going to be any collisions. Um, I've got a marker where I think that the new pair is going to go, but I just need to validate that I'm not going to have any, you know, collisions during the middle of the night. So that's kind of what I'm doing here and what I'm working towards. from the pier. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm just doing some basic measurements here. Okay, so I need 32 inches around where the pier here is going to be in order to be able to clear um, the walls for the telescope. This is pretty tall, but then realize that I'm going to put in a raised floor. It's going to be a wood deck with the piers independent and isolated from that. So if I had this as my parking position, my walls need to be at least need to be comfortably 77 inches to give me an inch or two of clearance when the roll off roof rolls off. I could get away with 76 or maybe even 74, but that's a little close. I think 76 might work. Okay, wall height 76. So 
So what I'm doing here is I'm making a stand. I got some uh, PVC kind of cross ties here. And I've got a 76 inch wall. Just like that. So here we are, 76 inches right there. So, what's my viewing angle going to be? Well, actually it's probably not as bad as I thought. It's not as good as I wanted either. Yeah, 76 might be a little bit too much. I'm gonna have to change so that this thing is in a different park mode. I always get antsy about that. Because you're always concerned about parking these things. So, I think that's going to become her new park mode. So what if I made this about my height? So, this is part of working out the final bits and pieces here. So 64 inches is the minimum wall height that I can do. And I am So I go 68. So I made this thing six foot walls, 72 inches. See what I'm thinking is if I made this thing 72 inches or six feet. Okay, it's right there at that. Okay. Now to be honest, that doesn't look like much, but that's actually, I got the tree line right here. So depending on the object, it's going to be hitting into these trees anyways. So this might, that's going to be right at the, I mean, I could get maybe another, another 30 minutes of imaging, but it'd be cleaner images. All right, let me take a look over here on the east side. And I think that we were going to go right about there on the east side. And I'm working off of this mount because this pier is low. And so without having to replace the pier, I'm trying to see if I can reuse as much of this as I possibly can. Okay, that works. I think that that works. 
I know the sun's coming up and it's bright. I think that that's going to work. So anyways, if you found any of this to be helpful, interesting, or even meaningful, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Give a thumbs up. If you didn't like this, well, I'm sorry, but uh, this is part of my thinking process and part of what I have to kind of go through to kind of figure out what it is that I'm going to do. Um, I'm not one of those that just goes ahead and just builds. Uh, because I often find that you do a whole lot of rework and I'm not really interested in doing a whole lot of rework It's too hot. So I want to make sure I get everything right But again, I don't want to overanalyze things either. I just need to understand the geometry and understand um, How these scopes are going to interact with each other to make sure that I have enough spacing and ability to be able to um, be able to comfortably run my rigs so anyways until next time clear skies and happy guiding